Yep, the next app I'm going to review is called Phone My PC. I bought this back when it first came out a long time ago. Way back in the day. Yeah, back when I had my G1. And uh, I do believe it was like 99 cents back then. <laughs> yeah. Some so, starter setup, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't really work all that great when it first came out, but they have came a long ways, and this is by far my favorite uh, remote PC app. So all you got to do to bring it up, you just hit your... You have you install a server on the computer. You can install it on as like as many as you want. I don't think there. I don't know if there is a limit. Well, I'm sure there is, but I haven't reached it because I don't have that many PCs. But right now I have uh, about four of them on there, and I'm going to remote into my PC. So all I gotta do is just hit there, and you get certain options. You can set up uh, where it says execute actions. You can set up actions on the server at home. And it would allow you to execute a various whatever actions you set up. You could get it to shut down, go to sleep, uh, button combinations, go to websites, Screenshot. bookmarks, whatever. Yeah, it'll do whatever you want. Oh, uh, just you can, underneath the one. The control processes uh, controls various process, like whatever processes you have going on. You can kill processes right there, and you can also crash your computer. I've done that a few times. Oh like, <laughs> yeah, uh, shutting off the wrong one. <laughs> Explore.exe. And you have the option and to uh, hide the um, icon in the tray on the, on the home nice. PC. And you can view it live. You can view a snapshot. You can just control the mouse and keys, or you can interact live, which is what I'm going to show you. So you can so, bring up the uh, notepad and say, I'm watching you. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I have it set up to you. not show on um, other PCs. Uh -huh. So they never know when I'm on. <laughs> so this is my home computer. This is really helpful if you have kids. And you can zoom right in. If yeah, you, have you can kids check using up on your computer. We got a Mandelbrot set on there. I went up Firefox. Mandelbrot, maybe. Am I saying it wrong? Who, what? What is this? Well, this is I was bringing up. There it goes. Nice. So I'm bringing up my Firefox, and let's say I want to go to. Um, whatever I want to go to, I'll go to Blackboard for school. <laughs> so I can go to whatever website I want. Like if I want to download something, I can go to whatever site I want to and have it set up to download while I'm away. Um, so that's cool. You can yeah, manage all your downloads. You can pretty much, there's nothing you can't do with this app. You just Looks like it just died. No, it didn't. I just, uh something funky i have my my um bar up there set to disappear oh so if you need to shut down your computer this works really good on your phone and the tablet i mean i like it on my phone because i have a little trackpad mm -hmm. and you can actually control the mouse with that oh that's cool so as you can see you have complete control and it works very good this isn't this isn't even on wi-fi this is on oh this is on wi-fi isn't it but it yeah. works good on 3g and it ain't gonna <laughs> work worth a crap on edge though yeah so let's say I want to put my computer to sleep. That's all I got to do. Now my computer's going to go to sleep, and it's gonna, the screen's going to pop off. So that's for my PC. It's now nine ninety nine since you probably didn't want to buy it when it first came out. And it's made. It's not a necessarily a honeycomb app. It's made for all versions. They ha they haven't come out with an and with the honeycomb specific version. I see. Um, but it it works really well, and I think especially re uh, remoting into computers is uh, it works best on tablets. I think it's a lot yeah, better than it's on a phone. Nice. So if you do get this app, it does explain all the directions in there. You have to go to softwareforme.com to download the uh, the server for your PC, and then uh, set up the passwords and whatnot, and you're good to go. It's very simple. Once you get it all set up and it works flawlessly. I, have, I haven't had a problem with this thing since it first came out. Awesome. Yeah, I deal with a lot of other, uh, you know, VNC stuff. It just doesn't uh, work as well sometimes. Like, I use tight VNC, and sometimes it crashes. Mm -hmm. I've so. never, I haven't had a problem with this since they've, since all the updates they've done to it. Mm. That's it cool. It's perfect. You don't have to sign up for a service or anything? No, it's $10 one-time fee. That's it. Beautiful. Nice. It's better than uh, some of the other providers that are out there that yeah. may have uh, <laughs> sponsored our shows at one time or another. Yes. And